Madis Rasma and Ronnie Baxter preparing for their first round game. Baxter's already played a prelim. We saw him come back from 5-2 down to defeat Simon Stevenson. After this, we're into the board semi-finals and we'll have Simon Whitlock against Alan Tabben Jr. And then the winner of this against Nick Fulwell, who we just saw defeat Bernd Royth. Twenty-five. Outside the twenty-five, Madison wins the ball. Razma wins the ball. The Latvian, nicknamed Razmataz. One hundred. Twenty-eight years old, just made the switch. Moving across from the BDO. 40. Came through Q School a couple of weeks ago here in Wigan, and he's the first Latvian player to hold a PDC to a card. Won the national championships in his home country four times, actually, five times. So hoping to make a mark on the PDC circuit. 43. Yesterday defeated Harry Ward before losing out to Roby John Rodriguez. As Baxter fires in a maximum just to put a bit of pressure on, but Razma on 80. Double top steps across. 40. But misses the target, so the 180 from Baxter gives him a chance to break. 10 for double 16. He also has to step across to find a clear route, and it clatters into the other dart and bounces out. A bit of bad luck for Baxter. But Razma doesn't punish. Again, just making it awkward. It looks like a completely blocked bed, this. Well, that's an incredible dart from Ronnie Baxter. Double 16 to break. A second maximum for the Rockets. It looked out of sorts at times in his prelim match against Simon Stevenson, but managed to get over the line in the end. And who knows if that could provide the launch pad for the Rocket to make some progress today. just sets up the shot, 56 left, as he looks to double his lead when he returns. 58. Game shot. There it is, he wasn't sure it was in himself, Ronnie Baxter, but it is Ronnie, don't worry. 
2 0. Erasmus' best run at Q School was a, a run to the quarter finals. Effectively got him his card. On that day, he beat Kevin Thomas, Steve Smith, Paul Nicholson in the last 16. 137. Before losing out on an automatic two card to Mike Langendorf, but he amassed enough points anyway. 40. So we'll be seeing him on the Pro Tour this year. 100. Six UK Open qualifiers, followed by 22 Players Championship. Events live streamed on PDC TV. 85. And here's his chance to get a leg on the board. The look at the score suggests that he doesn't fancy going for the bullseye even if he hits a treble 20. 90. But didn't hit the treble 20 but did go for the bullseye. So a double top to halve the deficit. Yeah, just brushes off the barrel and into the bed. But Baxter still with the advantage. Of that early break of throw. The 55 year old from Blackpool. Been involved in many classic games of darts. Won a handful of PDC titles. And he may not be finished yet. Well, we can see what he thinks of that dart. 84. But he's still in a very strong position in the leg. And that bounce out, stroke fall out, means no finish for Rasma. So six starts for Baxter from 108. A fair enough shot, treble 10 would have left double top. And that 140 leaves double top, so. Roddy under a bit of pressure now. Double 20. Comes out. Game shot. But that one stays in, and that's game shot for that leg. 3 1 to the Rocket. Carrying out a few repairs on his darts. We're just hearing news that yesterday's runner-up, Adrian Lewis, is out of the tournament. He's been beaten 6-4 by Rob Cross. He beat Simon Whitlock 6-1 yesterday. Also beat Ricky Evans 6-0 today. So Rob Cross on an excellent run. 46. Knocks Lewis out, goes into the board final. Thirty-nine. 
There's also been a win for young Callum Luce, beating Canada's Kenny McNeil. As Rasma looks to rattle in his first 180. And there it is. Welcome to the Dark Show, a brand new... So double top for the 82 checkout and to claw himself back within a leg of Ronnie Baxter. And a good start to this leg against the darts. 1-3-1 one, one after Baxter only kicked in with 28. 16. So looking on course for a break back. 96. Baxter in need of trebles. And that's nine darts thrown now without one. So Rasma in pole position to get that break of throw. Baxter just doing his stretches in the background. 83. Let's see what effect they've had. Thirty-two. Well, that's 12 darts now about a treble. And Rasma's got all the time in the world to reduce this 191 to zero. 31. And that's a good setup shot. Leaves himself 60. Gary Anderson, a 6 0 winner against Ryan Searle over on board 18. 27. Double top. Double 10. 50. Well, all of a sudden, Baxter does find trebles. A couple of them there. Double five for Rasma to break and level up at three legs apiece. Needs to come south, not that far. Just having a little bit of trouble finishing off this leg. He knows how big it is. 18. Right, double two. And now he's in the madhouse. It looks like a good guide, but he can't use it. And this leg is being gift wrapped for Ronnie Baxter. Went the treble 17 route. And he needed treble 14 with that second dart. And finally, Rasma gets the double. Gets the break back, three apiece. And probably becomes a slight favourite for the match. Well, 60 on the floor would have been 180 otherwise. Great visit from Baxter, 177.
It does the right thing there. Rasma just leaves the darts in to make sure the right score's called. 190. Just a little issue with the score graphic here. Baxter's got 63 left, so 50 left. Tops. Game shot. And pins it and takes a 4 3 lead. And breaks back immediately. And that's a third maximum now for Ronnie Baxter. Starting to turn the screw. Can Razma reply in kind? Yes, he can. Very, very strong leg from Ronnie Baxter. Edging towards the finishing line. 40. Well, 51 leaves double top. Treble 14. 51. Gets 51 in three darts and will return. For double top to move within a leg of the win. Second win of the day for him. Having played a prelim already. Game shot. And uses both barrels to great effect. 5 3 lead now. And when Razma got that break back, it looked like him. That was taking charge of the match. But Ronnie Baxter now has a commanding lead and will hope not to squander it in the same way that Simon Stevenson did against him earlier on. 61. to finish a job in this leg just one point between the pair two big trebles in that visit get Madis Rasma down to a finish 95 and he's got two visits from here to keep himself in the match Bit of a slip there, down for 19s. 44. So only 44. The door slightly ajar for Ronnie Baxter. Ninety-seven. Well, this might have to go. 120. Treble. Single. And there's the double. Classy finish from Madas Rasma. 120 keeps him alive in this game, but Baxter now throwing for the win. Sixty. Well, can Rasma punish the 60 start from Baxter with a couple of big trebles? He can. 1-3-1. One, this is getting interesting. 
96. And he's in the treble again. Bit of a slip with the second out, but good recovery. He's effectively taken the throw off Baxter in this 10th leg. And Baxter, who himself came from 5-2 behind against Simon Stevenson in the prelim, could find himself on the wrong end of a great escape here. 78. A couple of visits for Rasma to Reduce this 169. And here, game shot. 104. And that's a decent first. 65 left when he comes back. Under what pressure? 82. Not enough, you think? Well, there's a 25. Double top to force a last leg shootout and there it is and the Latvian will have the throw in that final leg trailed 2-0 and 5-3 in this match is he about to book himself a board semi-final with Nick Fulwell Forty-four. Only forty-four, not what Ronnie wanted. We have seen some close 41. games on this stream board one so far today, and a lot of them with cagey, cagey finishes. Ninety-nine. Still finely balanced. If Baxter can find a treble or two, this visit really keeps us guessing. Who can take control? 99. Again, there's still a chance with a big score here for Baxter to become favourite. Rasma will have a shot now at 144. 59. And he will have six starts to clean it up after that visit from Ronnie Baxter. 60. Only 60. So it may only be a shot at the bullseye when he comes back and Baxter's looking like he's going to leave himself handy. 100. 84 players 100 for the match first chance to Razma and oh dear 79 left after that loose shot but he's given himself a shot it's double 11 and he's pinned it recovered from a straight first start in that combination 84 <laughs> wins the match double 11 Razma comes back from 5-3 down to knock out Ronnie Baxter he goes home empty handed today We'll be back in a few moments' time, and this time we will have Simon Whitlock. <laughs>